we have a volcano on top of the base. On top of it. Now, I've never dealt with a volcano, but I'm going to take a wild guess and say it's going to, like, melt stuff. It's a volcano. What is up the world? What is up the world? It is your friendly neighborhood slipgator here. Hanging out today, doing stuff and things with Manny and Scrubbin. Getting our brain levels down. Playing oxygen not included, ladies and gentlemen. I'm severely addicted to this game. I have four playthroughs going now. Uh, YouTube, twitch.tv slash slipgator. Links in the down there if you want to come check us out there. I have two personal playthroughs. One regular survival and one sandbox creative now for testing stuff and things. I am very excited. This system is most likely not going to work, but we're going to finish it anyway, just so you can see. We were working hard on this the other day. Uh, we got our Atmo suits up and running. Everything was going really cool over here. We're making all this happen in an attempt to cool down steam to get water. It's not necessary. I figured something else out. We'll talk more about it soon. Uh, we're going to let this build out just so you can see. I want to kind of just see how it works. We're going to let this build out. And we're going to see how it works. We do have some water down here. We're going to end up reclaiming that very soon. We're just going to pump that into a regular system. I have so many things that I've been working on to try to make my bases better. I have a few different ideas to upgrade this base. I don't know if we'll have time to do everything in this episode, but we're going to do as much as we can. It's going to be very interesting. Uh, this water is 198 degrees. It's very, very hot. We're going to have to get that cooled down. The water inside of this area is 75. It's perfect. Um... And we want to try to keep it that way. If we're going to move this water into here, it'd be a terrible disaster. Kind of. I'll show you what we're going to do here uh, in a minute. But as for right now, first and foremost, the biggest disaster, algae, uh, right here. Very, very small amount. Uh, I have sent... Wait, what? This isn't going to work. Do Is this ladder go straight? Okay, I just want to see how these are all set up here. Because I'm worried about getting some water down inside the base. Uh, we could probably go ahead and X that out right there so guys can get up into this area. We're going to start to grab some of this algae that's here. We have some more up in that. Oh, wait. This is an al is this algae. This is algae. This is algae right here. We have a huge amount of it there, but we have this carbon dioxide geyser. Uh, I've gone ahead and shut that off. There's so many things. You guys, look. Watch this, man. Bam. Whoop. Look at our base. Look at what we've discovered. What is this right here? Wait, what? There's something right there that we haven't, we haven't unlocked that. We haven't opened that up yet. Uh, let's go ahead and come over into here. Let's G. Hopefully this is not a disaster. Uh, we're going to go ahead and open that up and see what it is. Uh, let's go back into temperature overlay and screenshot mode by hitting Alt S down over here. Bam, another deal. Wait, what? Another deal, Slipgator? Yeah, that's right. Another deal um, over in this area here. Uh, I have a ladder there and there. Let's go ahead and set up a ladder that digs down into this area. Uh, and then... We're going to have to come over here and open this guy up, too, and see what that's all about. So, uh, first and foremost, algae is a major problem right now. Because we have so little, we're going to have a really hard time. Sorry, I had to sneeze. We're going to have a really hard time uh, making oxygen. That's why I think this episode, we're going to get a spawn set up. S-P-O-M, self -pro self-powered oxygen maker. And I think that's what we're going to try to do is get that spawn set up um, as a or in addition to, let me see here, what other things do we have on the map? Uh, so I did go ahead and get some stuff and things going over here, and I can't remember if I showed you this. I set up my automation system now so that... Why is this in a... Oh, it's red signal. Um, So what we have here now is uh, a couple of different setups. So remember over here, we have this hydrogen vent. What's the gas level in here? 4,000 uh, Gs. We need to... Oh, I can't lock that. It's on the outside. We need to make sure none of our dupes go inside of this room. That 4,700 G uh, pressure would give them popped eardrums, I do believe. We don't want that to be a thing. But what we have set up over here now is this room with hydrogen comes over to these hydrogen generators. This guy is set for 9930. These guys are set for 9910. They're all hooked up to our cold gens, and this one is hooked up to our hydrogen gens. So that means that we'll be burning off hydrogen first uh, before we're burning off coal. Hopefully that will help us to stave off using some of this coal, especially considering on this map, I was dumb and killed all my hatches. Uh, over here, just in case you guys left a comment about it um, that I didn't see, these Drekos will not regrow uh, their Dreco deals, which gives us um, under here, I do believe, reed fiber uh, by shearing them in the shearing station unless we fill this area with hydrogen. So for right now, we have the Drekos. They're doing their thing. Uh, I don't really need the uh, reed 
Big Fiber that badly. Um, so we have 117. So I'm going to let them do their thing. Um, so yeah, oxygen generation, definitely an issue. Getting some algae straight away is going to be important. Uh, we can do it up here by the carbon dioxide geyser, I guess. Why don't we just set a ladder uh, over here like this? And then maybe another one right here. Go ahead and G all of this and these guys and these guys. And then we'll have to open that up there as well. So hopefully some algae from here, from here. Uh, we're doing a little bit of gathering up some stuff in this area. I think because there's gold amalgam underneath there. Yeah, there was gold amalgam here, which is pretty rare. So I went ahead and grabbed some of that up. Uh, this is not going to work. Let's go ahead and go like that and then like that. We're going to uncover this guy. We're going to uncover the guy all the way down here, too, to see what these two geysers are going to give us. Um, we also have a cool steam vent here. We have a cool steam vent here and a cool steam vent here. Um, I've gone ahead and started to make a liquid pump. Now, I can't remember if I told you this before. This gas pump, <clears throat> I was reading these temperature differences wrong. So if we go into ventilation and then we click on the gas pump. Remember, we said gold amalgam. And I was like, ah, this only works at 90 degrees Fahrenheit. That's not true. It's an additional 90 degrees. So the overheat temperature of this pump is 167 plus 90, 257 if we use gold amalgam to build it. Uh, it's 199 in here. It'll be perfectly fine. So this guy is a gold amalgam gas pump. That's the same as what we have going on down over in here. Uh, I think this is a gold amalgam. This water is 130 Fahrenheit. So we built a gold amalgam pump in there. And I also put another one in this area too. So now we have these gold amalgam pumps and they're going to be what save us from having temperature problems with these guys. So they should work um, regardless of temperature unless we get up to like 260, but I don't think that's going to happen. Um, we're going to turn this on, like I said. Uh, what else is there that I wanted to talk to you guys about? Let's turn this on real quick again and pee, take a look. Was there anything else around here that I wanted to tell you guys about? There's so much stuff happening and I'm so excited. Oh my gosh. So um, yeah, we kind of have tamed this hydro vent right here. Uh, 60 cycles worth of hydrogen. That's quite a bit. So this should really help us to, to get our base going. The problem that we're going to start having eventually and kind of soon is heat. You can see that over here on the sides, we have some warm down here, warm. Uh, we've alleviated some of the problems with heat over here because of our wheeze wart. Um, but up in this area too, even though we have insulated tiles here, we're still going to leak some heat out, um, around the sides. I found a way to fix that problem as well. So first things first, we need to create a spawn. I'm going to let these guys start to go. Oh yeah. Also, we're going to need another... Oh, yeah, dudes. We're going to need another uh, Atmo suit area. So we have this Atmo suit area set up over here. Remember, our oxygen diffuser awaiting delivery. Oh, no. So these guys are going to start running out of O2 because we don't have enough. Yeah, we don't have enough algae. So what's our priority set for this guy? Seven. Okay. And what's our priority set for our regular deals that we have around here? Seven, seven. Yeah, they're all set for seven. Um, we have insufficient oxygen generation. It's not terrible right now. Yeah, I think the spawn is going to be the first thing we've got to get going. Um, let me take a look. Our base is really... I don't like this design at all. <laughs> I wish we... We'll have to maybe take a look at changing things up. But everything is really just kind of like all haphazardly placed in here. And I wish it was a little more organized. My other playthroughs are much more organized. Um... So I think we're going to do our spawn over in this area right here. This means that we have to take out some of the stuff over here. Why don't we just go ahead and start by building some ladders out in this area. Let's go ahead and delete all of that. Uh, this wire here, this can all go all the way down here. Reclaim all this wiring like so and like so. Let's go into our wiring overlay. Uh, we'll take that guy out. All right, all of that. Uh, this guy out too. So that should be pretty geez. Actually, I don't think they're going to be able to reach over here. We'll stick a ladder right there too. So a lot of stuff to do real quick. I'm going to get our spawn room up and running right over in this area. Oh, and the other thing I want to check really quickly is what is our CO2 looking like? All right. So we need some CO2 processing in this area as well. I think, geez, we just, I really didn't leave myself a lot of room. Um, I could put it. Yeah. 
Yeah. All right. So let's go ahead and just uh, speed up time and start getting that spawn going. We'll worry about CO2 in a little bit here. All right. This uh, slip gator invention of failure is working. It's working, but it's not working. Check it out, guys. So uh, now we have, if we look at our uh, plumbing system, these radiators, right? So the idea was we take the water out of the bottom here, which is really hot. We radiate it through the cold biome here. Uh, that cools it down. We bring it through here. We use it to cool the air to condense the steam and turn that into water. And then we pump that back into the system. The problem is this is not really cold enough. I don't think to make a huge difference. So we can see now it is working. Oh yeah. Before we get going any further as well, let's go ahead and get into a uh, base deal and let's get storage bins going. I want to put uh, probably, well, let's just for right now, one, two, three, four, maybe five in there. And we're going to configure those here in a second. Um, so here's the issue with this system. Uh, first and foremost, I think we have a little bit of uh, some problems with this piping getting damaged, but I think that it's not long term. So that'll go ahead and fix itself um, eventually. But yeah, so over here, let's check out our water temperature. All right. So it comes into here 195, right? Through this pipe, 193, starts to cool down a little bit. We get over to here. Uh, it's 189. The water down here is 135. So when it bridges, because now we have water pumping out of this area from this cool steam vent, then every other water is a little bit different. So this is 130, 180, 130, 180, 130, 180. Now, when we get it up over into this area, we're looking at 160, 120. So still really, really hot. Too hot probably for us to use for uh, in our base. We don't want this water stored in our base at that temperature because it would heat the entire base up. So as it comes through here, remember in this area here, we're 160, 120, 170, 120, something like that. 167, 123. So as it comes down through this area, now this air is warm, right? So this air is 138. This air, uh, well, 180. No, no, no. We have 182, 182. Uh, so pretty warm inside of there. And then once we start using this to radiate over in this area, now we're back to 120, well, 120, 160, 120, 160. Not too bad, actually, right here compared to right over here. Yeah, about the same, honestly. 120, 160, does it heat up at all? It doesn't look like this is heating up right now. Um, when the steam comes in the room, it probably will. But we've uh, basically got our water from 190 and 1... 135 and 198 down to 130 and 160 it's not really cooling it enough so yeah it's uh in my opinion we're wasting the cooling properties of this area we could be using it for something else um and then also i don't think we really need this radiator to make the steam condense now this is going to erupt in four cycles so we're just going to see if maybe this helps the steam to condense and all of that but for right now, the next order of business, uh, P9, these guys, it's going to be starting to move ice into these storages. And that's going to be a big help for us. And I'll tell you why here in a couple of seconds. So, um, well, eventually. So we're going to build these guys. And what we're going to do is we're going to set these guys for sweep only. And then we're going to set it for liquefiable ice and snow. Okay. So now what's going to happen here, if we copy these and set them into there, um, these will only store ice and snow that we tell dupes to sweep. If we don't tell them to sweep, they won't get stored inside of these guys. I do believe, Oh, medical spot. Yeah. Liquefiables are off in there too. And then do we have a polluted ice storage? We should probably go ahead and do that over here. So we're just gonna, what temperature is this? Eighties. We're just going to go ahead and build storage bins, three of them down inside of there. And we'll put those for auto sweep uh, for polluted ice. We'll make sure that we're getting our polluted ice down inside of here. It'll cool down the water a little bit. We're going to do a little bit of a trick deal with that too. All right. So our spawn is coming along quite nicely, kind of. We're building it over in this area here. We're going to ladder that. And we've had to tear down some stuff. So we kind of needed a little bit of space. All right, looking good. We're still going strong over here. Uh, yeah, that guy is still waiting to be torn down, and this ladder never needed to get built. Cancel. All right, so um, what I think we're going to end up doing in this area here is just... Qu ah! Ah! No! Oh, no. No! Germs? Germs? Oh, there's polluted ice. Oh, I didn't even think about it. I didn't even think about it. Oh, no. We can't get... I don't think there's any germs. Oh, man. What a pain in the butt ski. That sucks. 
It means that we're gonna have to lose, I think, most of this water here. We could try to push it out. They, they might... Oh, maybe they can mop that. Uh, how are we gonna stop? Let me see here. Granite, iron ore, regular ice. Where did that polluted stuff come from? I, this is regular ice. This is regular ice. I We had polluted ice over here, but I thought that would just drip into this area. I don't need... Oh, over here? Wolframite, granite. Oh, there it is. There it is. Crap on a cracker. Uh, so, very quickly, in fact. Stop. P9. Emergency, even. Super hyper red alert stuff and things. Uh, P9 over here. Uh, like this. No, super alert status. And then hopefully, nine this. Super alert status. We can mop up just that one little piece. We'll see if we can get these guys in there. Red alert! Complete alert! There's pee water in a regular water. Dude, you guys, you gotta be faster. This is a red alert situation. We're suffocating. Where? You're fine. Stop. Stop it. Stop complaining. Okay, that's... That, uh... Oh! Oh! Did we, did we just make that happen? Did we just make that happen, ladies and gentlemen? Red alert, I said! Pause. Cancel red alert. You guys, we got it. Oh, so good. Oh my gosh. All right, so over here, ladder up there. Kill all this polluted ice like that and like that. And then that's just granite, right? And then this polluted ice will just drain down into there. Uh, mop all this up. They're gonna have to mop it up several times. Uh, and then mop all this up. They're going to have to mop that up several times, too. That's probably... Oh, unreachable mop. We'll cancel that guy. Oh, my gosh. Thank God we got that out of there. So we have to we have to enclose this. We have to deal with this water and get that out of the way. Um, we got to enclose this. And we'll figure that out here in a second. But, um, okay. This, we're just going to wait for it to erupt in four cycles so I can show you if the steam is condensing. We have to figure this out. But next order of business, our spawn. Let's get our self-powering stuff and things going over here. Why is there pee? Why is there pee everywhere? There's just pee everywhere. It's disgusting. You guys are disgusting. It's working! It's working! So you can see the little water droplets. Uh, this steam is condensing because of this little radiator. Now, that's not to say it wouldn't have condensed on its own anyway. 200 down here is a little bit less. 160 uh, Fahrenheit. We probably could have made this happen without this whole radiator system. Uh, the water just would be a little bit warmer. So yeah, uh, this whole deal is coming down, but we're having some major problems over here. Um, we are now in high gear, getting rid of the polluted ice that's up here as well. Um, it's kind of becoming a bit of a problem down over here. We're really trying to make sure we don't get anything inside of this area. I'm eventually going to clean this all out and make sure that this is uh, encased in something so we don't have any sort of problem. But really, we're still just working on getting the spawn up and running. I've started the process. I'll explain to you exactly what's going on over here. Uh, this is from a tutorial I saw online. I'll try to uh, make sure I include it in the description. Um, but, uh, but yeah, for right now, I'm really just trying to make sure uh, on priority nine that this water source does not get polluted. Uh, and that's why we're kind of working on all this over here. So once this gets done, we have to also continue to sweep all of our ice out of here. We don't want the ice to melt. You can see this is just like a constant process of uh, cleaning, sweeping, cleaning again, uh, sweeping again, cleaning again. Uh, sometimes they come up here and they drop ice off. I have no idea why. Just right like before they hit the door. And I'm not really sure why that happens. Um, just once in a while. That's a Weezwort seed. Uh, but yeah, every once in a while, there'll be a piece of ice up here just on the ground and they're not bringing it down over to our ice storage, which is inside of here. Our polluted ice storage is up and running now. Uh, I think we have it in there liquefiable. So any polluted ice will go down inside of this system uh, in that tank right there. And then this is, like I said before, all going to get changed around. All right. So we got a little bit of extra water from this guy. But this one, we really want to make sure that we're doing. Uh, yeah, we're being careful. We don't get any polluted stuff inside of there. So, all right. The... Ah! Ah, the process continues. No, no, please don't flow. How did you even, why are you even there? If that was to flow, oh, it already did. So it flowed down inside of here. All right, we see we have, we have multiple stopgap measures in place here. That should be fine. Everybody calm down. We'll be fine. And we're back. 
terrible disaster. We have a volcano on top of the base. On top of it! Now, I've never dealt with a volcano, but I'm gonna take a wild guess and say, it's gonna like melt stuff. It's a volcano. Uh, it releases magma. What temperature is magma? 4,000 degrees for rock gas. 2,569 degrees. Magma is composed of igneous rock heated to the molten liquid state. You guys, uh, uh, what do these, how much temperature even is this? I wonder, overheat temperature plus 27 degrees Fahrenheit. Plus 27, plus 27, is that all I've got? Dude, I think we're gonna have to just cover this. I think, I think we're just gonna have to try to cover this, like this, and it needs to happen like yesterday. It needs to happen like right now. We gotta G all of this out of here. We got to go ahead and ladder down on this side like so. We've gotta go ahead and dig all this out. Uh, that's all gonna be priority nine, super high priority. This guy can go back down to five. I did get it analyzed. This is no bueno. I'm really, oh, oh, down here too. Oh, slip cater. Oh my God. Uh, insulated tile. Do we have the, 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 yeah, like this. Uh, let's go ahead and ladder up here, here, and there. Uh, let's set all of this for priority nine. Must have straight away, make it happen, dupes. Very much hoping this insulated tile stops this from happening. I'm assuming it'll be, maybe it works like any other geyser where it will get clogged. I'm really hoping that that's the case. Um, everybody can get over there, right? Let's go ahead and speed things up a little bit. Um, so our natural gas system is working quite well, by the way. Um, and it's helped us to stave off a lot of our coal uh, usage, like I said before. Um, down over in this area, remember we had something as well. It's a chlorine, or no, yeah, chlorine gas vent. Um, I do believe it says it's overpressurized. Probably it being underwater and partially covered here is stopping it from doing anything. And then I just put a little manual airlock in right there for that guy. So it's doing okay. Um, these guys don't have fertilization. Priority are you? It doesn't matter. We won't need that very soon. But our spawn is coming along. Uh, the self-powered oxygen maker is becoming a thing. Once this is ready to rock and roll, I will show you exactly how this is going to work. But for right now, we are very concerned. Very, very concerned about our volcano. We have 7.4 cycles, which should be plenty of time to get it blocked off. I'm wondering, can I? Well, we can put stuff in there too. Not there, not there. Uh, mayhaps we cancel those two guys for right now uh yeah i just want this to be absolutely as like as pressurized as it can be or well, we could put something in there too like so um and then we're making those all out of the sedimentary rock right or insulated tile igneous rock pardon me all right so i think that should be good uh these guys need to get done inside of here at some point that can be in the future it's no big deal right now um so finally got this area cleared out of stuff almost they're still over here sweeping these priority nines um, it's been crazy, but we did keep this water supply clean and that's really the biggest thing we needed There's a little bit of iron ore there too and getting the spawn up and running is like right now a priority We have only still about 3k worth of algae um, Stored up here. So yeah, we got to get this guy online right away All right, we're ready to spawn it up uh, Volcano countdown timer by the way 4.8 cycles spawn ready to rock and roll so what we've done here now, guys, I, I know this is going to hurt your brain a little bit because it hurts mine. But what we're doing here is making a self-powered oxygen maker. This electrolyzer produces oxygen and hydrogen. Hydrogen floats up, oxygen floats down. Now, oxygen that's going to come out of here is going to be warm. So we can actually see some of this right now, I think. 63 degrees. Oh, really? 63 Fahrenheit? And what's it over here? Uh... 60 degrees Fahrenheit. Is that it? Well, maybe this will work a little bit better once we have radiated piping in here, right? Yeah, uh, this should cool down. We'll see how it works here in a second. Uh, what we're going to do, what we've done here is we have a couple of Atmos sensors, um, and we're actually going to set these for something different here in a second. We have a little gas pipe element sensor. We have an on-off switch or a smart battery. This is what our wiring looks like. We don't have this hooked up yet. This is what our gas pumping looks like. Um, and so if we go ahead and change this to above uh, 1,000 grams, that should shut that guy off. And then on the bottom, what do we got here? No gas in pump. Uh, and then this guy here, we're gonna have to change that as well. But you can see how we have our pressure there, two micrograms. So it's very, it's almost a vacuum inside here. It's basically what we've done. We've created a vacuum. So now this guy should be set to above uh, 500. 
like so. This guy should be set for above 1,000, like so. I do believe now... Oh, is that set for off? Uh, if we were to go ahead and uh, get our power, our wire, hook that up like so. I think it should be... <gasps> One problem. Big problemo. Crapo, Slipgator. Uh, we need to deconstruct this here. That doesn't need to be there. We'll put that on a nine like that. Um, and then other than that, the next order of business will be under power. We need to deconstruct, well, all of that line right there, but primarily this guy here. All right. So now this guy is making oxygen and it's making hydrogen. You can see here, oxygen is coming out of this deal. You see, it's a little overpressurized in here because we're at almost 2000 grams of, of pressure. <gasps> Why did we get oxygen in there? That shouldn't have happened. No, that is bad. It's going to back up. Wait, what? That should not have happened. Why did that happen? No, why did my spawn not work? No, it's going to block everything up. Dude, this is not, that's not correct. Did I build it wrong? I feel like it's right. That's set for above 1,000. That's set for below 500 or above 500. Yeah, those are all good. These guys are both going. Everything is wired up. Everything is gassed up. Is it because we're not venting enough gas? So if we don't vent enough gas from this, if this is overpressured, which it is, uh, oxygen will start to move up into this area when there should only be hydrogen in there. Uh, perhaps we try to make a little bit of change and see if we can fix this. It's working! It's working! I do believe above 1,000, above 500, we are only getting hydrogen in this area here. Uh, our battery is fully charged because we're still hooked up to the power grid. Let's go ahead and X that guy only this time in case we have another problem. Let's just take out that one deal. And let's see how this is going to work. So, uh, if you follow the tutorial that I've linked for this, uh, you will notice there's a bit of a problem with it. A couple problems. So, uh, one of the things is that we swords need fertilizer now. So, what we've done is put these farm tiles down here um, so that the uh, dupes can fertilize them from underneath. So, just making sure everything's going good. The other thing from that tutorial that's a little bit weird is why I've had to build this deal up inside of here. So, when you set up this bomb in this way, uh, again, what we're doing is separating hydrogen and oxygen, pumping oxygen through here, cooling it down, and then sending it into the base. Looks like it's coming out at around 80 degrees, and this is going to get hotter. So, as these machines heat up this area, this will get hotter and hotter, and it's coming out at about 67, which is good. It'll be a little bit warmer in the future. When this starts to back up like this, we're going to have a big problem. Actually, we have another big problem. Why are you... Oh, you're not hooked up. All right, so hold on. Automation switch. This goes over here. So, uh, again, we have this battery set at 160. Um, that is to turn on this generator right here. The problem that we're going to have, even with this automation turned on, is that this hydrogen is going to back up. Even with this generator, when this generator is only running when the battery needs power, uh, we're not going to be burning enough en off enough hydrogen. So, that's why we've gone ahead and set this guy, uh, pipe, uh, gas pipe element sensor, and we're going to set that for hydrogen as well. So that should turn the green signal on here. And yes, ladies and gentlemen, uh, now we are making power. Now, the uh, thank God that we did that right away because we had just disconnected this. So we really need this to be powering this battery. Uh, we'll set that. Oh, it already is set for nine. So uh, if either the gas is backed up to here or the battery needs power, it will turn this generator on. So you can see here the gas is quite backed up right now. Um... And yeah, this will pretty much run almost all the time. It'll almost be running constantly. But look at all of the oxygen that we're creating. Now, inside of here, we're getting gas vent over pressure. Um, that's something I don't know that much about, and we can deal with that in the future for sure. Uh, that can be a thing that we figure out at a later date. Let's go ahead and turn this back up. But you can see here, insufficient oxygen generation is now gone. And I do believe we should be able to deconstruct all of our oxygen diffusers. Uh, I don't think we need any of these guys anymore. Um, the only thing that we're going to be using algae for now is making oxygen over here for our um, Atmo suit docks. That'll be the only thing that we really need. I think, I think we're going to have to test it and see how it works out. But for right now, I'm going to go ahead and start deconstructing all of these guys. We just don't want all of this extra oxygen to be being produced through... Um, through the use of the algae. We want to go ahead and stop those things. So, you guys, if you notice that the game is getting more complex, this is for true and for realsies. It definitely is much more complicated. 
um, when we're starting to get into all this different heating and cooling and all of these things. Uh, next episode, I think we're going to see what's going on with the volcano, guys. It's a bit of a cliffhanger. Three cycles till that goes go, uh, starts to erupt. Um, so that will be a thing that we have to take a look at. And then also in the next episode, we're going to talk about getting um, our water from this guy. Are you dormant yet? Next dormancy, 50 cycles. Um, our water from here uh, up into this area and this water into our main storage and how we're going to cool that down. And then also... Uh, we want to make sure that we're going to be cooling our base, too. We have a lot of heat here. Uh, it is going to seep through our insulated tiles a little bit. We have a lot of heat here. Uh, we have a lot of heat here. Uh, and so this thing especially is going to be bad. Also, by the way, if you were wondering, I made these out of igneous rock, and then I also surrounded it with obsidian. I'm just going to see how that works for us. And then hopefully this doesn't melt the base. But uh, failed experiment that kind of works. Uh, didn't get any water down or bad water down inside of here. Nailed it. KB stops. Volcano, mm, question mark. Uh, and over here, spawn up and running. Unbelievable and amazing. I think we should be still doing good. Yeah, no oxygen inside of here. Feels good, team. Uh, the only thing I think that we're going to have a problem with is if this starts to back up. Yeah, that could be a problem. If this O2 starts to back up and pushes the O2 higher in and then we get oxygen inside of here, which we shouldn't. Um, that could be a problem as well. So we'll have to see how it all works. Uh, but yeah, that's it for today, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks so much for watching. Starvation. Why are you starvationing? Go eat. Slime lung starving. Is there food? Uh, where, where? Consumable. 172,000 calories. Is there a reason why? Oh, wait. 16. We have. Oh. One, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and then what is that even for? Oh, that's uh. Oh no! Is it that? Why you can't eat? Cause there's an air vent right there. I hope that's not it. I don't know why Mima is starving. Mima, go get some food. There's food everywhere. If you can't eat, there, go get your food. There she goes. Eat your food, Mima. Thumbs up. Yeah, down that thing. Uh, we need to build uh, another place for more of our um, more of our dupes to eat as well. Our mess tables are not enough. We need more mess tables. We got to redesign this entire base. Thanks for watching. This game is amazing. May the stuff and things be with you.